Spoiler alert, this SUV is only worth buying if you still have about a quarter of its price set aside. So, for every firefighter, like any flagship of an eminent and status brand, this car is stuffed to capacity with all sorts of electronic gadgets and know-how, and in its arsenal, the most modern and powerful engines, multi-speed automatic transmissions and sophisticated all-wheel drive transmissions. Naturally, all this magnificence must not only be serviced in a timely and competent manner, but also repaired when it fails. We hasten to reassure you, the reliability of the Mercedes-Benz GL class has become much better. Almost 15 years have passed since the first generation GL appeared. Most of the congenital sores on second generation SUVs have already been largely cured. Nevertheless, complex and technically advanced components and mechanisms are initially demanding for quality service. For example, all engines in an SUV are exclusively turbocharged and direct fuel injection, with both gasoline 3.0 V6, 333 power, and 4.7 V8, 435 horsepower, and 3 liter V6 turbo diesels with a capacity of 258 strength. And this means that expensive turbochargers and injection nozzles can fail from our fuel. And they do, although not as often. Gasoline engines at risk have a crankcase ventilation system, EGR, which must be periodically cleaned, a generator, converters, oxygen and mass airflow sensors, as well as a timing chain and phase shifter fluid couplings. A large V8 is prone to overheating, so cleaning both radiators every two years with disassembly is a must. And in general, the G8 is noticeably more expensive in terms of maintaining a base 333 horsepower gasoline engine. Diesel 6 turned out to be much more reliable, although also by no means without flaws. It happened that one unsuccessful refueling with a surrogate solarium led to very sad consequences. The owners then usually changed the expensive injection nozzles. After a run of 150 to 200,000 km, you must be ready to upgrade the turbine and high-pressure fuel pump. However, some change them hardly after 300,000 km. If we get lucky, automatic machines on the GL are considered maintenance-free, however, the officials prescribe an oil change in them after 80,000 km. And some experts recommend updating special fluids even more often. And in this we are in complete solidarity with them. In general, a 7-speed hydraulic automatic is considered quite reliable, and for all the time it has been upgraded a dozen times, although exacerbations do occur from time to time. Therefore, the revision of the box is required. When buying a used SUV, an all-wheel drive transmission diagnostic is also required. Particular attention should be paid to gear boxes, drives and transfer box. By the way, it is also desirable to change the oil in them every 60 to 80,000 kilometers. Otherwise, the replacement of each of these transmission elements will pull on an impressive amount. Please note that after 150,000 km it will be time to change the card and crosses and the outboard bearing. Moreover, it comes exclusively assembled with a card and shaft. True, there are many proposals on the market for replacing these consumables separately. Mercedes-Benz GL class was equipped with their suspension. It is the air springs in it that are the most vulnerable spot. And more often the rear ones fail. And they are usually replaced in pairs. Important, as soon as you realize that these elements are out of order, do not delay the replacement. Worn cylinders will quickly finish off the rest of the suspension parts. And shaking up the entire chassis is very expensive. GL is quite possible to take with hands, but not for the last money. And be sure to diagnose all systems. Do not chase the top versions of the SUV. After all, even with the base V6, it has excellent dynamics. In addition, the 6 is a priori cheaper and more reliable. The most trouble-free is considered a turbo diesel. However, when buying from hand, avoid cars with chip engines, the resource of such units, as a rule, is a big question. In an all-wheel drive transmission, the first signs of wear appear only closer to 150,000 km. In addition, most GL class owners do not leave the asphalt at all. Nevertheless, pre-purchase diagnostics, to put it mildly, is desirable. Otherwise, the burden of restoring an expensive 4x4 system may fall entirely on your shoulders. In the running gear, from congenital sores, one can single out wheel bearings that fail, for 30 to 70,000 km, which change as an assembly with the hub, front levers with ball bearings and silent blocks, as well as rear levers for setting camber and toe angles. New moments usually serve 90 to 120,000 km, although sometimes they wear out before their due date. The body of the SUV is very resistant to corrosion, and the paintwork is quite strong. That's just chrome body elements very quickly surrender to chemical reagents, often even during the warranty period. Sometimes door handles break, and the door opening mechanism wears out quickly, ceasing to perform its functions. 
crickets start up in the cabin, and with age there are more of them, to say that the GL class is stuffed to the eyeballs with electronics is to say nothing. She's just everywhere. Naturally, failures and glitches, as well as breakdowns, often occur in it. If restarting the engine does not solve the problem, hurry to the dealer, he will remove the error using the computer. With age, wiring, connectors and contacts suffer, which are treated with banal cleaning. 